begin the goddess edition um, for this Sunday healing space of the modern goddess um, what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up this portal space if I may I'm going to do prayer to divine with my east my west my north and my south it's a little bit more of a Stacy say, here we go. I call on my ancestors and angels, my guides and my guardians, my most benevolent and honorable ancient spirit tribe. Ascending masters and higher selves. All be known to the most high. Mm. Also, I would love to take the time to actually take the breath to open up with, to share with you. Um, right now, just for the sake of, I'll call it the goddess breath. Um, not exactly a dragon breath. <clears throat> But I would love to join in at least three of them with you before we get this started. And that breath, you usually see me take it. Deep inhale, deep exhale, further pull up and exhale. So that does really good uh, recycling of the ethers within the vessel, clearing out and making clear. So I would love to do three of those goddess breaths with the collective and um, finish it off with one own breath. Yeah, so we're gonna go right ahead into that. Deep inhale. Mm. 
Now what I really want you to uh, focus on is cultivating your power. Um, this is not just a breath exercise. This is actually pulling in the powers, the ethers in a very powerful way. Um, we're speaking with goddesses. We're speaking with God bodies that are here. And as we're learning to um, execute these energies, we want to learn how to activate them and use them in a real way. Second breath. Third breath. And the final OM breath. Deep inhale, exhale on our own. Oh. <sighs> Wasn't perfect, but we got it in, we got it out. Um, let me check this. I have to see if I have, I think I have to invite the sister in over, so let me do that. One moment. <laughs> One moment, collective. Let me see how this goes. Uh, invite to join. That's the only... Yes, I do have to invite. Okay. That just goes to show you guys... How's everyone doing the shadow season? I hope that you are uh, cultivating your shadows in a very beautiful and uh, safe space. You know, we're opening the portal. This is definitely the season of acceptance. Let's see. Sister didn't want to join. Sister. Okay. Let's see how it goes to me. Oh, I'm so interesting. Okay, good to you. Yeah, our family, hope all is well in your world. Um, bit of a cast over here. Hold on a moment. It looks like. My sister, Sienna, I'm trying to get the beauty over here. Let me try this one more here. Hmm. And now we have a bit of a time difference, and I hope we're not having any trouble in the ether because we are in those retros right now, right? Um, if I could tell you, I thought I was actually going to have to do this live um, high frequency places because um, Instagram had me locked out of my uh, Blue by Design IG yesterday for a good eight plus hours. Show up. The strength. How are you? CC. I hope I'm doing this proper. Take your time, come in. Um, the the love and the technical the, the technical challenges of IG Live. See, sister, and let's see. If I can switch. Is there a here? We're gonna try to move in. Let's see. Hello, beautiful. Fiona, I don't know if you are receiving my live request or if you need to come in on one this side, but I am sending them through. I'm hoping that we connect in frequency. Um, I definitely need the goddess to speak to her superpowers of blessed. And um, actually, how I come across her um, here on IG. Listen, I've been trying to get you to join live. Are you not able? Are you not able to connect? I sent you an invite. Maybe you might have to send me a request. 
If you can, see if you can send me a request. If not, I'll send. Yeah. There we go. I'm super excited, guys. Okay, I think I'm going to stop. Okay. I think I just accept Hello. <laughs> Gang, gang, we made it. <laughs> I'm, I'm very excited for this. Um, I feel like I, I've known you. I, feel, I can definitely put my parents on very glad. I'm um, able to that we are able to connect here and for you to join me for this status behavior series. And um, you're actually one of the first guests to kind of just jump this off, so I'm really excited to share with you and with the collective, um, I guess just what it is right now in our time to embody what it is for us being modern artists, you know, right now, um, what that means for all of us, and um, I don't want to put you too much in the box, and I don't want to talk too much, so please just Introduce yourself to the collective and please let them know which portal of the world you're going to have the best introduction. Yes, thank you so much for mm -hmm. having me. And I apologies also like if the signal cuts out or it goes in and out. Um but hopefully it supports us. And um, yeah, so I'm coming from London right now. It's uh, just after eight PM. And I am a uh, multi or cross disciplinary artist um, and I use mm -hmm. art and the mediums within art to also integrate the different facets and aspects of myself and my uh, existence in this kind of multi conscious plane of being um, many things that just can't be defined by society's norms um you know the past and the future the ancestral and the unborn and all the stories that are untold i feel that you know we are all archives and we all carry a lot of these old knowledge uh practices and these stories that have been passed down to us and also things that are for us to unlock and to to share so I use my art to also allow me to discover that as I go on this journey. It's, it's so funny. I had a couple of questions that kind of wanted to come through, but you touched base on it on many different levels. And I'm glad that you are the vessel that you are and you come through that the way you come through. Um, from the way that you speak, to the way that you move, because it makes people very aware of not only the physical, but the actual heard. And um, again, like I said, the ancient, that's something I clearly feel and see when I see you, when I am able to exchange the frequency. So I thank you for that. I thank you for those remembering your story. It's very potent. Very, very um, And I also see, like the warrior of the community, you have a very innovative um, way. Like I say, you incorporate so many arts, almost to which I can't speak to. I see um, your warrior spirit come through when certain, your, I don't know if you have practice martial arts or something like that, but nonetheless, the frequency of it comes through. Um, and the, the story that you tell, we try not to rant. <laughs> from you, um, actually, okay, yes. Um, as I, I tend to reflect very well from from your your, um, your first phase, and kind of since we are in shadow season, especially here um, in New York, we are experiencing the fall season. And um, a lot of beings tend to go through this transitional phase, and I call it the shadow phase. 
And um, this is usually the time I tend to go inward and get a little more in depth with the crevices of. And um, I know you've had a very busy schedule, but I, I am curious as to how do you cultivate your energy and your, your spirit um, during this shadow month? And also, I'm not really sure how to put it into words, but I feel that people sometimes look at it in a negative connotation. And I tend to really enjoy the depth of the shadow, right? So I don't know if there's anything that maybe you can share um, from maybe your story, you know, with the collective that you can embrace overall and to, to marry, to, to learn how to bring forth the coolness. Mm. Yeah, um, I resonate with you when you say, you know, when you talk about how you enjoy that um, process of going in and cultivating the shadow. And I think there is a culture around kind of like the taboo of this like shadow aspect and the kind of like, ooh, the kind of witchy kind of Hollywood voodoo-esque like oh no like let's let's not kind of be in the shadow um you know and, and also because historically we have been shadowed so much with guilt and shame and these words are really like tainted words that people don't really want to sit in and feel that um but i think that there's so much weaponry and like power in kind of harnessing wounds and getting the wisdom from the wounding. Um, and for me, that's really what I, I resonate with in these kind of times, in these kind of seasons, is like there's there's things to be receiving and being rewarded for really learning and, and sitting with these wounds and tending to these wounds and caring for them. And from that process of kind of... Um, being enclosed and and marinating in this kind of weighted, damp, dark kind of season, there there's like a lot of fertility. And I think that it goes really hand in hand with like how we understand the land, you know, and the, the soil right now is changing. It's the, the, the process in the soil right now, it's really soaking in and like absorbing the nutrients and the moisture and the coldness and the dampness. And that whole process is also something that I feel that we transmute and alchemize like in ourselves. Um, and it is uncomfortable, but I think it's almost, it's not that it's easier, it's more familiar. It's a more familiar practice for people who have had to be a warrior or who have had hardship it's more of a familiar practice to be uncomfortable and to be in the pain and to learn from the pain because like the learning of the pain is the survival. And, you know, maybe for other people who are in a more kind of privileged position, it's a choice if they want to learn from it or not. But for others, it's not a choice. You just have to fucking learn. Like that's the only way you're going to survive is to weaponize and cultivate from your injuries and get stronger and go deeper. Um, so for me, it's, I do feel that it is an uncomfortable space, but I also know that I'm made for that process of going deeper and reflecting and confronting and solution solving in my own way of care, self care, because I think self-care is about solution solving it's about like okay what do i need how do i figure out how to meet that need what what are the elements that i have what can i work with to make this work for me right now um you know even just in the kind of aspects of ritual practice like using plants using medicine using sound music uh things to hold us and like contain us in these processes where we're kind of having to sit with things that are uncertain or destabilizing spaces where we have to make the container ourselves. And sometimes that's about 
you know, dressing a certain way. You just, I need to wear these trousers today because these trousers are going to ground me and they make me feel powerful. Or, you know, I need to smell this sage today because I need to carry it with me and that's what's going to get me through the day. And it's like, these are all our tools and like weapons of divination that like help us go deeper into holding ourselves in our container and building that, um, that field that allows us to really transform in the process of incubation. Um, yeah, and I, I think for me personally, it's never something that I know what, how it's going to feel or what it's going to be, but it's a, it's a kind of a trusting in the, in, in the body really for me, it's really about my relationship with my body because um, I will, it's my body that will tell me what season it is. It's my body that will say I'm heavy right now, or I need to rest or I'm feeling pain and I need you to listen to this pain right now. I need you to sit with it or I need you to be still. And often I find that accumulation of those kind of things come up in this season because in the summer, my body will say like, I need to be out right now. I need to be open. I need you to open me. I need to receive right now or I need to give out right now um, or I need these kind of stimuluses or these sensations, these invigorating sensations or these energies of fire but I feel like at the moment um I feel very swampy <laughs> but it's it's like a soup it's like a really good soup you know like there's I know there's potency in the soup and I know that it's it's gonna be uncomfortable at different points but I know that I've also built things there for me to use to hold myself in the discomfort. Um, and I trust mm -hmm. that the wisdom will come from that discomfort. And I think the more you practice that mm -hmm. relationship and that process and that ritual building, the more it is just about learning how to surf the waves. And you do fall, but you just, you know how to get up quicker. And it is salty and it does sting and it does burn. But again, you know how to take that staying in that burn and ride the wave again and ride it differently each time. So, yeah, it's, it's really just about that. I, I think it is a, it's a practice of discomfort, but it's, it gives you so much strength and power. Mm -hmm. And you start to, in other seasons, you start to recognize that power come out in different forms because of previous shadow works, right? So like the next fall or the next season that comes, it's like you kind of realize like, oh my God, I've got more ammunition or I've got more range. I've got more of a spectrum now to draw from because I created this space. I created this opening here when I was dealing with these wounds or with this kind of shadow. And then, and then you start to be able to exercise the shadow to uh, galvanize when you need protection when you need to break through things that are holding you back or that are blocking your pathway the shadow becomes something that you can then use because it is a part of you that you've integrated um, and I think that when you don't have that relationship with those parts of yourself you can't communicate with that and then you can't allow it to be a part of you when you need to express something to protect yourself. Like even on a practical day-to-day -day basis, right? If you're in an office or like you're in a space and someone's disrespecting you or someone is encroaching in your spirit, when you have that integrated shadow, you, all you need to do is feel it. And that person will feel your shadow and they're like, boom, boundary, bam, don't fuck with me. I'm here, I'm completely present on different spectrums, on different levels. You know, but when you haven't integrated that, like it will come out. In